Good morning, everybody. I'm just taking a seat in the living room with Stefania behind me. We're just finishing off our breakfast with a cacao smoothie bowl, which we're just finishing. These bowls set us up for the day. We won't need food until a lot later. And as we're heading out quite early, we want to be well set up, basically. So I have been a bit quiet over here on YouTube. You guys that follow me on Instagram will know why, but I'm not going to go into it on this vlog because I want it to be a happy, fun, we don't need to talk about our problems vlog today. But I do think it's important that people should talk about their problems. Absolutely, <laughs> but I do talk about them quite a bit and it has taken up the most part of 2021, mm, so. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you do. Excuse the half done tree behind Stefania. We put it up um, and then we ran out of time. So we just got it up basically. But we want to do an evening of delicious Christmas teas and Michael Buble playing and Sabrina Claudio playing on the TV. We like a bit of a vibe when we put up the tree. So it's a vibe. can you see the vibe that it's is behind me? <laughs> this is what I've got to part with for the rest of the day. So basically what we're doing today is we're going into Notting Hill and that's where the reformation store is. So we wanted to head in there. It's been a while. I wanted to do a little bit of a try on with you guys, see what they've got. There's a few bits I need. So hopefully they have them in stock. And then we're going into central London. We're going to have a walkabout. We'd really want to get that nut milk. Was it called nut milk? Yeah. Um, that's in Soho. And then we've got the theatre. So That's it's a very real. exciting day. What's the production we're going to see? Magic something. Yeah, magic. <laughs> something magic. I'll let you guys know that's when magic. I know. But yeah, that's the day. So I thought I'd take you guys along with me and ease back into the YouTube world slowly. Mm -hmm.
So we were in there a while. I tried on so much stuff and had to order a few bits um, online because I didn't have my size, but I did pick up something. It was the jumper. I've been looking at this jumper for months and it's gone into sale. I have got it in a medium, which is a tiny bit too big. They've sold out and everything else, but I'll show you guys when I get in and yeah, we'll see what we can do. Chocolate. No, I think we're a bit hungry or bit. thirsty. Savannah's starving. I just would rather like a latte or something. Warm me up because I'm a little bit cold. station we're at Bond Street station and Yifang bubble tea place is here so we have grabbed not a cold bubble tea a hot bubble tea it's a fruit one um, to warm us up while we walk around London I'm very pleased because yeah, we were starting to struggle so we're gonna drink that and we're gonna go get some food as well Up the wrong escalators, I went upstairs. Guys, I literally have just bagged myself a deal. I'll show you guys what I got when I get in, but I'm so chuffed because I've been dying to get my hands on a pair of these for a while and I've just found them. I'll tell you where I got them. I got them in TK Maxx, that's why I've bagged a deal, but I'll show you exactly what I've got when I get in. We're gonna grab ourselves a drink and we're also gonna get some snacks. I think we're gonna go for chocolate, aren't we? Obviously. Probably a Whole Foods visit, actually. The theater is Apollo Theater in Soho. So it's all close by to each other. So that's where we're heading now. And I'm so grateful to be outside. I know it's freezing, but TK Maxx was absolutely boiling. Um, and you can see the layers I've got on. Were you not boiling? No, it was nice. In TK Maxx? Toasty. I literally was about to I melt like it. a witch. Everybody, it's Friday morning, early start. We are already in the kitchen making up our food for probably the next few weeks. So I have my Matamam all vegan plant-based delicious curry. That is so, so bomb. Like I'll pop a link to the recipe. It's on my website. Guys, go and make it, it's so easy. There's no excuse. And then I'm soaking or have been soaking some cannellini beans uh, for several days because I like them to get quite soft and I'm gonna make a okay, Italian bean soup. So here I've got the beetroot leaves that I grew last year in the garden. It's called Bietola. And I've also got the zucchini, the courgettes that I grew. So that's all going in this lovely bean soup. Um, and we're also doing a lot of organizing because 
Since my mum moved out, it just seems like there's so much to do. We threw everything into one room because everything was obviously manic, it was unplanned, and now we're slowly sorting through it. So it's gonna take a bit of time, but we wanna get the place ready for Christmas. We want everything to be organized and clean and nice and have a nice energy about the place for a well-deserved chill. I can't wait. I can't wait to just lie about doing nothing, watching movies. It's not something I do ever. So Christmas is always that time. Still, the Christmas tree isn't done, but we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> that is something that I need to plan in for next week. But what I do wanna do with you guys is show you some bits that I have recently purchased. I'm very excited about these products because I've been looking at them for a while and I'm always like researching sustainable brands and I just only want to purchase sustainable brands i've said this a million times but i'm very very passionate about that so it's a bit of research but i do all the research and make your life easier that's what it's about isn't it but anyway so here i've got three pairs of different types of shoe from a brand called all kind it's a vegan brand and i just think that these shoes are just beautiful they are so luxurious it was the first word that came to mind when I actually held them in my hand. It's all good seeing things online, but you never really know. And with these smaller sustainable brands, and most sustainable brands really, you can't just um, return them for free. You know, you can't just order them willy nilly basically. So you really have to be conscious. But actually with this order, I ordered this from Wolf and & Badger and they do do a 14 day free return. I didn't actually know that they stocked all kind. They do hold a lot of smaller independent brands. Then I also have, this is another brand that I just recently have come across and have really fallen in love with. It's a little bit pricey, but with these things, it's always worth it because for me, I'm buying pieces that are gonna last a lifetime and that I actually need. So this brand is called Aggi or Aggi. I don't know how you pronounce it, it's probably Aggi. It's a Polish brand, which is close to my heart, obviously, because I'm half Polish. And just in general, since I was very young, I've always thought with Polish brands, um, I remember with lingerie, the tailoring is always just so amazing. To the point where when I was traveling back and forth to Poland a lot pre-COVID, I would take so many clothes out to be tailored. I lost a bit of weight, so old clothes were a bit too big on me and I'd get it all tailored in so I didn't have to throw it away any new clothes I get, I just always like to tailor it. And it's just some random lady that works down the road from where I live, but she is just incredible. The things I've asked her to do, I've asked her to take an entire back off a dress and make it halter neck so that my whole back was out. And she done it and she done such a good job. Polish tailoring is just incredible. So anyway, I found a blazer that I've been on the search for for so long. Obviously I want it to be sustainable and it's a specific print. So it's quite hard to find, but I found it. So anyway, I'm gonna pop you down here, get comfortable and talk you through what I got. I'll also pop an insert here of me actually wearing the pieces so you can see. I'm sorry about the lighting. It has just started to rain and we are due some snow and the lighting has completely dropped. So apologies for that. But we're gonna jump straight in with the first pair of shoes that I bought. Now, I have been wanting a pair of these shoes for so long and there are so many styles of it and brands that are doing it. And I just had to wait around for a sustainable pair to come up. So it is this pair of flat loafers with the detailing here. I have already tried them on. I literally couldn't wait when they came through the door. And the first thing I'm going to say about this shoe is for some reason, whenever vegan shoes come to mind, but you just think they're going to be uncomfortable because, you know, leather does stretch over time. These are so comfortable. Like the minute I tried them on, I could walk all day in them. So that's the first thing. And secondly, they just like I said earlier, they look like luxury. They look like a luxury shoe. And for me, it's a luxury brand. So I've popped them on for you guys to see what they look like on. I just think it's a lovely, smart, dress down look. And you always need a smart pair of black flats in your cupboard. It's a basic staple for your wardrobe. The next shoe that I got 
was a heeled boot. I have one other heeled boot, which is also a sustainable brand. It's called Bava. It's a lovely shoe. The heel is quite small. I've been looking for a higher heeled boot. I came across these and saw that they did them and thought, I'm making an order. Why not see what they're like? And this is them. So it's a good height heel. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Gorgeous design. It's more of a rounded heel. That's the only thing that put me off. Like I wanted a bit more of a block heel. It's quite blocky. I love the color they've chosen throughout all their shoes, this tanned neutral color. It's got quite a pointed heel, which I love. And it comes up quite high as well, which is another bonus. Again, it feels amazing. It looks amazing in real life and it's just a lovely, lovely shoe, but I'm not sure about it. I don't know if, well, I have seen a shoe from another sustainable brand that I haven't physically held in my hand yet. So I probably am gonna send these back, see the other ones and then make my decision. But these are a really good contender, I think. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments below, but this one will get sent back in this order. And for the last pair, oh, I hit myself over the head with it. You can probably tell by the size of the box, it's a pair of boots. I have never owned a pair of heeled knee-high boots, ever. How odd is that? I'm a 34-year-old woman who's never had a pair of heeled boots. Anyway, that is a bit odd. Is that odd? Has anyone, is anyone else in the same situation as me? So this is a shoe I have been, again, on the search for. And since wanting to only buy sustainably, my search got a lot harder. But I came across these. And look, I need to go back for this. Hold on. <laughs> look at this boot. It is absolutely beautiful. So it doesn't have a zip, which is something I love. Um, so it looks beautiful from any angle. It does slip on and it slips on very, very easily. Normally with slip-ons, I've got fairly big feet. I mean, they're not that big, they're a size six and I'm not the skinniest of girls. So normally that would be quite hard with these, no problem. And again, you've, it's, it's the same sort of design throughout. You've got the same sort of look, the quality, they look very very expensive you've got the neutral base as well and it's a perfect heel height i love them i'm so happy i found them it's so hard to find i don't think there is another brand as of yet no i'm sure there is another brand just i haven't found them yet but i do do extensive research so if it is out there they're very good at hiding <laughs> um but yeah these are definitely a keeper for me what do you guys think and guys if you know of a sustainable vegan brand with black heeled knee-high boots comment below because i need to know okay next is the parcel from aggie it's a-g-g-i aggie it wouldn't be aggie because that would be an italian pronunciation of the two g's i think am i right i'm not sure anyway i ordered a blazer in a sort of checkered brown style and these style blazers are quite popular in autumn in many shops and they are very easy to get but i didn't want to buy from a fast fashion store so when i saw this i was very happy this is what it looks like so obviously me holding it up like this just doesn't do it any justice. And I will pop it on and style it up for you so you can watch that while I'm talking. So it's a classic blazer. What I will say is the fit is very good. Like I mentioned with Polish brands, they're very good at tailoring and the fit is lovely. You have lovely lapels that are not too big or too small. It's a lovely length, like where it rests around my hips. I would probably try, like to try this in an extra small when it comes to oversized blazers, because I'm quite narrow and smaller in this area, they can sometimes be too big for me. So I might actually jump on the website and see if an extra smalls come in stock before I decide on this. Um, these are the buttons on the cuffs. 
the material's lovely. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. So it's gonna keep you warm for the time of year that you'd wear it. I would start to wear this around fall and wear it right through to winter. The only thing, the only thing, and I don't know if I'm being too fussy, is the print, I'm not sure if it's 100% what I was looking for. It, do, it is fairly true to what it looks like on the camera, but I was, I don't know if the sort of blacker bits are too black or that's too, too sort of tan. I don't know if I wanted it more brown. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna have a good think about it and try it on until I can make the decision. Let me know what you guys think below. Should I keep it? Does it suit me? Should I wait for another blazer to come around that's similar to this? Let me know. I've always got a freshly made glass of grapefruit juice to hand. Always. So, I actually have another pair of shoes that I forgot about. Um, this is from a different brand. It's called Privato. Those of you that follow me over on Instagram will probably be quite familiar with this brand because I do love a pair of their sneakers. Absolutely adore them. I'm actually waiting for a few other bits to come. This is an Italian brand and another one that's close to my heart because the other half of me is Italian. <laughs> it's odd, isn't it? And this is a pair of vegan leather, of course. They're a nude mule and I saw them and just thought they are just lovely and can be worn with so many things. I cannot wait for summer to wear these and I'm probably going to get used to them over the Christmas period as well. I've already got a ton of outfits in mind. But anyway, so it's a lovely like blush nude. It's not like a dark, like it's not like a tan, like a beige. It's more of a blush. It's a lovely colour. We have a square toe, which is my favourite. And the heel is not too big. It's a kitten heel, which I really, really love. It's very comfortable. They don't hurt. They won't start to hurt when you wear them. And then you've got this lovely, lovely wrap detailing, which I just thought was so, so beautiful. It reminds me of a luxury brand. It might be Balenciaga, I'm not sure, but they have these sort of stars where it's quite a thick fabric and it's overlaid like that. I think these come in black as well, I'm not sure. I'll link them below, obviously, for you. I'll link everything that I mentioned in today's video below. But yeah, I love these and I can't wait to style them up. So the next thing I wanted to show you was from a ethical, sustainable brand. They are a French brand, being very European today. Um, there's no French in me. No, that ends there. <laughs> um, but these are Period Pants brand. So I have three pairs here that I want to show you. The first pair, which for me, when, it, when I'm on my period, I want the biggest pants, the biggest coverage, and the most comfort, and of course black. But all period pants basically come in black. I don't know if I've seen another color. So these like boxers are just exactly what I want when it comes to period pants. They're just a lovely cut, I think, and they make you still feel quite cute, even though it's the worst part of the month. You've obviously got the padding within the, the pants and it does go quite far back up. So if I show you the back of them, where does it end? So they end about here. So you've got good protection. And this would be a pair that I wear on like day one, one to three. Heaviest time, most uncomfortable time. This would be the pair. I feel like I'm just going to run these down on like, so that was days one to three. This will be days three to four, maybe five. And the last pair would be like the end. <laughs> so this pair are a brief, but they are a little less covered. You've obviously got great coverage at the back. The pad again comes up to here. Um, but do you know what I mean? It's a bit smaller around this area. Very cute when it comes to period pants. I have to say, I've seen a few period pants. These are just very lovely. So you've got this mesh detailing or frill or lace or net <laughs> not sure how to describe it but um that runs across the top and it just gives a lovely feminine detail i think 
again very comfortable material i i didn't tell you what sizes so i've i've got them all in a medium and i'd say you need to size up so i do normally buy a small depending on the brand it's medium and i think when i was buying this i was told to size up so size up if you do shop with them um so that's the second pair and the last pair so again it's the same cut as the one i just showed you but you have two sheer panels you can see at the front but still fantastic fantastic coverage and the amount of the padding inside is is the same as the rest of them but this would be the pair that i wear at the end and feel a bit more confident but i wanted to show you guys these period pants are so fantastic because obviously you're not putting tampons in you you're not using applicators the applicators they're not sustainable there are some brands that do them sustainably but i just think in general if you can sorry to be graphic but bleed into some knickers and just wash them it's just the most sustainable way and when you've got brands making them just so lovely there's no reason not to is there so that brand like i said is called sisters republic i'll link them below for you and guys, if you do have any questions about period pants or sizing or brands, then just drop me a message and I will get back to you. In fact, do you guys want me to do a video more on a sustainable period? I might be an idea. I could share, I could actually share with you guys what I do sustainably and without medication uh, to get through a period. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe that's not something anyone wants to watch. I don't know. But it would be very helpful because I've got some really good tips. Really, really good tips. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be very well aware of this brand. I got their hiking boots last year and uh, they are just amazing. I love them. Um, I also, with this order, I also got some knee-high black flat boots because I really needed a pair of those. And they're just as amazing as the hiking boots. I will show you them. But if you head over to my Instagram now, you'll see me wearing them quite a bit actually i do wear them a lot they're very comfortable but i did also get this faux leather skirt so it's like a wrap skirt obviously it's very hard to show you i'll pop it on for you so you can see and it's vegan leather i can't remember what leather if it's corn or pineapple there are quite a few this one is but it just feels amazing i mean you wouldn't know the difference i don't think if i went up to somebody and just didn't tell them whether this was real leather or not i don't think they would know i got this in the smallest size and the only thing i will say is i don't think i have the smallest of waist i have a small waist but there are girls that are smaller than me and this is still a little bit too big for me so that's the only thing that i would say but it, it doesn't look big i'm maybe i'm just being fussy but i will get that tailored in a little bit just to just to be more cinched I like things to be cinched um it's a lovely length it comes just below the knee and i just thought i'd show you because i like to show you my purchases <laughs> but let me know what you think of everything below oh no i nearly forgot about the pieces that i bought the other day thank god i remembered because i've been going on about it for most of this video oh look who it is hello tommy hello lovely boy where have you been hmm? where have you been Tommy, hey, say hello. Obviously, he can't say hello, but... <laughs> right, back to this. Tommy, don't disturb me. So, in reformation, like I mentioned, I got some other bits, but they're being delivered to me because they didn't have them in stock in the store. But I did get this. This jumper is so hard to get hold of, especially in this colour, but to be honest, all the colours. So I picked it up in a medium which is a tiny bit too big for me. But I got it in the thought that if I have it and the size does come in that I need, I can do a quick swap. And if it doesn't come in, I might have to go to Poland and tailor it. I don't know, but it's this beautiful, like look at the neckline. It's just such a flattering neckline for me. And every year I get one of these sort of style knits from reformation a lot if you remember last year i got the tie up back that i still love so much um but these are the sort of pieces that feel a little bit more dressy even though you're in knitwear and it's perfect for like events 
and parties where you don't want to feel too cold. I never want to feel too cold, but you always look that little bit more dressed up. So this colour is called Coco. It is looking a little bit lighter on the screen. It's a little more brownier than that. Yep, it's 100% cashmere. It's called the Glenna Sweater. Um, it's long sleeve and the length is to the waist, literally where your trousers come. So you don't need to tuck in too much fabric. It sits really nicely. And you can see on me that this size is a tiny bit too big. And I think it's because of the neckline. This area is just looking a little bit baggy on me because naturally I'm smaller around my shoulders. So I am checking every single day. I ask the stores to alert me if the size comes in. It's quite a trending color this season and if and I don't know if it will be around next year. So I really wanna get something in this color this year. So you don't even have to comment. I mean, you can comment if you want to let me know whether to keep it because I'm keeping it. I just need to work out which one I'm keeping and I need to try and track down my size. <laughs> so the thing that I randomly got, I could not believe my eyes, but guys, I found a pair of A gold jeans. A gold in TK Maxx. I have one pair of A golds and I I love them. The brand is sustainable, they use organic denim, and the jeans are just amazing. It's luxury, it's quality, it's everything that you're looking for. And normally, because of these things, the price tag is a little high. So these jeans retail for around 300 pounds in store so the only place i know where they sell a gold in london is selfridges they do hold quite a few pieces i was there not long ago and i i didn't know that they sold them there but they do but i found a pair in tk maxx and i got these for 59.99 60 pounds can you believe that you know when you find a treasure like you're chuffed for days literally as when i left tk maxx i was buzzing about this until i got home even in the theatre, I was going on about it. But anyway, so I picked up this pair. They did also have several other pairs. They just didn't have many smaller sizes. They were all sort of 29. So if you do want to jump into TK Maxx in Central, they might still have some left. I don't know, but it's worth looking. I picked up the Nico High Rise Slim Fit in Colour Headlines. So the Nico pair is actually a pair I had my eye on. With A Gold, I'm not like 100% on all of the styles because I haven't tried them all on but Nico was definitely one when I read the reviews a lot of people shouted about so unusually for me we have a button up instead of a zip I don't own a pair that is button up but it works perfectly it really holds you in and they don't pop um I did the reason I'm saying don't pop is because I did get it in a size 25 because that was the only option there wasn't an array of sizes I am normally a 26 so this is a tiny teeny bit too small for me but I think I get away with it I'll I'll pop them on so you can see what do you guys think am I getting away with it but the theory I have is that jeans stretch and I'm only ever going to lose weight and get fitter over getting fatter that's it for me so eventually these will fit perfectly but i still think i can bend my knees they have a really good amount of stretch in them but let me show you the jean anyway they're high waist really good high waist they have the button and they have these nice like ripped detailing but like not properly ripped just like a bit of a graze and they are in this beautiful denim color that i have been on the search for for so long this is a lovely denim that goes with black like you can already see and the bottoms of them, look, they have that ripped look. And then you have a tiny opening, which is on the inner part of the leg. So it's all very, very flattering. And I am just over the moon. That's the back of them. Obviously I'm wearing them, you can see them better. But yeah, I got a pair of Agol jeans from TK Maxx. I can't believe it, I'm so... That may be one of the best purchases of the year, I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and are happy to see me back on YouTube because it has been a while. But from now until Christmas, I will post weekly. And then at Christmas, obviously, I have a break. And then I'll be back fresh for next year. But I will get a few more videos in this year. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are all well. 
Any questions, anything you want to tell me, anything you want to talk about, drop it in the comments below and I will get back to you. Like I mentioned, I'm over on Instagram. It's at Honestly Alessandra. I'll link it. Go ahead, follow me there. I'm active daily there so you can keep up with me on a daily basis if you want to. And I will see you guys next week. Next week's video actually is a good one. It's a sustainable like party dresses for the festive season video. It's a try on. So I'm actually really excited. I'm excited. They haven't arrived yet, but I'm really excited to get them, try them on and just get into the Christmas spirit. <laughs> anyway, guys, stay safe and stay healthy and I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.